Hi, I'm Sarah from Go Clean Co. and this is our first ever YouTube video. For our first video, we're going to be cleaning the interior of your oven glass. So a lot of the time you clean your oven and it gets where it looks sparkly and perfectly clean, but then you get these drips in between the panes of glass and, and you can see them like when your oven door is closed and it drives everybody crazy. I get millions of DMs about it. So today we're gonna to show you how to clean it. So always get yourself set up for success. You're gonna get yourself fully prepared. So the first thing we wanna do is lay a, like a towel down uh, on the countertop because the oven door is really, really heavy and you don't wanna like chip or scratch your countertop. And then get everything that's collected that you need to clean. So we have a bunch of cleaning supplies here. My oven door, the glass, like in between the glass isn't that dirty, but so I think um, Dawn Power Wash is probably gonna cut it. But if it's really, really cruddy and it's been baked on and you've never taken your oven door apart, you might need some easy off oven cleaner, an SOS pad. We're gonna use Windex to make it perfect make it like perfect and shiny so there's no streaks because god forbid we clean it and then we put it back and it's all streaky check your oven door and see what screw heads you have so that you know which screwdriver to use you don't want to use the wrong screwdriver because if you strip your screws on your oven door you're going to be in for you're going to be in for it because like good luck finding replacement screws. So we're gonna be very careful here. So you can have a flathead screwdriver, which is this one. The stars are an X, it's called a Phillip, and there's different sizes of stars. So don't use like too big of a screwdriver or again, you will strip it. And then the squares are called a Robertson. Those come in different sizes as well. Next, take a flathead screwdriver or a butter knife would honestly work. And you're just going to release your oven hinge locks. Not all ovens ha doors have a hinge lock on them, but they're on both sides. You have to release both of them. And then you're going to close the door to like a 45 degree angle ish. Every oven door is going to be different, but this one, it kind of stops. See, see how it just stops. That's where I know I can lift it off. And then you just pull straight up. It's pretty heavy. So be careful. It can be like a hundred pounds. Be really careful when you're moving, like carrying your oven door around. Cause a lot of them have a third pane of glass in here and you don't want to like rattle it cause it will break. Now we're going to start unscrewing the screws. Make sure you have a little tiny bowl here to like put your screws in because you don't want to lose a screw. So just make sure everything stays together. It's also a really good idea to take pictures of your oven door before you start like taking everything apart so that when you put it back together, it's way easier. You can refer to them as a reference guide. So once you have your screws all completely removed, we're just gonna lift the glass up. You have to be really careful here. Remember there's a third pane of glass that's kind of maybe jiggly in here. Not all oven doors have three panes, but I know mine does. So this part of the stove isn't very dirty. There's like a couple of drips I can see, but it's gonna be easy. The Windex will tidy that up. So I'm just gonna move this one over there and then we can just take this part one apart. Um, now I just have to flip this over so we can get to the pane. And then now you can see that there's a third pane of glass in there, which like, why? So now I need, now I need the screwdriver again. So I just had to take out two screws to remove this third pane of glass. So, and then it's just gonna lift straight up, but be really careful here. You do not want to break it. Got those drips everywhere and all on the bottom here. Look, this is filthy. Look at all the drips. So this is the this is what I could see when my oven door was, cl was closed and was driving me crazy. All right, the inside of this glass is pretty dirty, but it's not like horrible. I don't think I need to use oven cleaner, so I'm just gonna go with Dawn Power Wash. And you just spray it and let it sit. It works to lift the grease and the grime up. And then we'll give it a scrub and rinse. Oh, you can already see it lifting it. Now I'm just gonna wipe it off with a wet cloth here. Like it's not very cooked on, but if you have really, really bad stains, you would um, spray it with oven cleaner and then scrub it with an SOS pad on the glass. It won't scratch it, you'll be fine. And then just uh, wipe it all up. So since we're using Dawn Power Wash, we have to still like, we're gonna have to use just a wet cloth to kind of like rinse it off because I can't really like put this underneath my sink, but it's lifting everything up. And then you wanna dry everything really well. So we're gonna rinse first, then we'll dry it, then we're gonna Windex it because again, we don't want streaks in between the glass once we screw it all back together because I've done that once already. All right, just some Windex to shine it all up. And again, just make sure you don't have any streaks. We still have to flip this over and clean the other side. But that's side one complete. And this is that like third pane of glass. It's gross and so make sure you do both sides, not just one. You gotta flip it over and 
wipe up your greasy fingerprints because that's gonna make you mad if you put it all back together and they're on it. So double-sided glass, gotta get all the gunk off. Again, make sure you don't have fingerprints all over it. It's like, what? I really like to know what the point of the third pane of glass is for. Just to annoy you. Now I have the exterior panel on the oven door. See? So just make sure you're gonna clean the inside of that too because this is glass as well. This one isn't very dirty. It doesn't isn't where like the drips go because they were all with that panel with the third glass, third whatever. So line up all the holes for the screws. It's super easy to put this back together. Reference all those pictures you took at the beginning that I did not. <laughs> Don't do what I just did. Okay, that was scary. <laughs> I just, I'm not quite lined up on these. You're really not? No. I just don't get why I can't get the screws to line up. Sorry. I should have took pictures, but oh well. All right. It's, this is the, honestly, this is the most time consuming part, trying to put everything back together. It's quite annoying actually. Oops. <laughs> but every oven door is gonna be different and they're not gonna be exactly the same. So YouTube, you're making model. It's upside down. Oh, there, it makes, makes so sense. much sense. Just like a puzzle. It's a Rubik's cube is what this is. Yeah, Tetris, that's what this yeah. is. This is why nobody does this. I finally have it put back together. Now we get to put it back on the stove. So again, be careful. This is heavy. Don't drop it on your toes. I, oh, I'm stuck to the towel. Here. Oh. Alrighty. Now just line it back up. In the hinges. And then it actually, once it's on the hinges, like you don't have to panic here, it actually stays on. Like, look at the door isn't gonna close if your hinges are open. So you have to shut the hinges or you're not gonna be able to make dinner. And then you just push this in, clip. Make sure you can hear them click in. There. And that's a wrap on our first YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed our first YouTube video. So make sure that you subscribe and then we're gonna be posting new videos all the time to help you guys keep your houses clean.